Good evening, good evening. It's time to check your pulse. We are live with Micheline Barber for the Impulse Summit 2022. Have you checked your pulse lately? We want you to take a deep breath and just breathe with us tonight. So let's welcome our host, Ms. Micheline Barber. Well, good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Yes, it's three times I'm going to say good evening. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you, this evening is like no other because we are always bringing you more and more and more impact. And today is no different than any other day. We have some amazing ladies that's going to be on the screen. And when I tell you, they are going to put Columbia, South Carolina on the map. And when I tell you, on fire in September, September the 10th through the 12th. And I don't know whether you have your ticket yet, but I suggest you get your seat at the table. Actually, I'm going to bring these ladies up because they have so much energy, so many things that we're going to share. So all the way from Chi-Town, matter of fact, bring them on up, Frenchie. We need all these ladies to come on up so that we can tell you exactly what they're going to be doing in September, because I don't want to spoil you all by telling you, I want them to tell you about them. They told you that you couldn't do it because you want to see you back up that you should get your soul up. I got this plan, and you might not understand. I'm a part of the thing. Here we have Miss Toya Knows. Oh, we got Miss Frazier in the building. <laughs> and we got a special, special guest. This young lady been with us all four years for a reason, okay, for a reason. And so we just want to bring up all the way from Boston, I got to say it like that, Miss Sharon Commons. <laughs> so ladies, 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 we have three that's been with us and one newbie, right? But she's not new to what she do. Miss Chastity, tell a little bit about who you are and what you are going to bring to Columbia, South Carolina in September. Yes, thank you so much, Micheline. It is absolutely my pleasure to be here this evening. I am Chastity Moss from Memphis, Tennessee, and I am now, as of today, a certified master pedicurist. I actually just came from Chicago. My course was over the last four days, and I had to do a lot of learning and a lot of testing in order to get that certification. So what, a, what I would love to bring um, to the Impulse Summit this year is to be able to share with people the importance of your feet and the health of them. Every single one of us on here have feet. And I'm telling you, I was in the airport today and I said, Father, I said, I thank you because everybody who's not an amputee, they've got feet and I can work with them. And what I am learning is just how to love and how to give and how to share that gift that God has given to me with everybody else that I come in contact with. Um, that certified manic uh, master pedicurist is different than just what you learn in your regular nail technician licensure. This is above and beyond. I have my advanced pedicuring um, specialized, the certification for that. But this master pedicuring, I just pray God's blessing over that because this is very different. One of the things that we talked about was diabetes and how it affects our entire system and affects our everything that we have, our sight, our feet, our mm. heart, our mm. organs, all of those things. And I, because of the gift God has given to me, I want to be impactful for the portion that um, is concerning the feet. Um, so I, I actually partner with a local podiatrist in order to make what I do a holistic system. So it's not just about pretty. I tell people pretty comes from the inside out. Mm -hmm. um, you got to get everything together um, on the inside and then that beauty will show itself. You don't have to force it. But I am here to give people in my salon, um, I'm able to give them a place that I work one on one with them. So this is not the traditional salon where you have, you know, 10 to 20 chairs lined up. There's no privacy. There's no way to share what your concerns are. And every pedicure that I do, it is 
absolutely personal. It is professional and it is private. It is an experience. It is where your heart is touched, not only your feet. And we are in professions where we still are by law are able to touch people. Mm -hmm. Some people come to you just so that you can touch them because they don't get that anywhere else. And so I thank God for this gift that he's given to me. I pray that he continues to use me to be his vessel. That is my prayer. That is my desire. I heard several days ago, you know, it said, don't work to get, you mm. work to be. You, oh. you operate because of who you are, not what you can get. Mm. My, all the things that we get from this, the things we get to enjoy and the people we get to meet, that's icing on the cake. But the true joy is being able to truly, I'm just, I'm 45. And I am within the last five years truly realizing what my purpose is. And when I tell you I wake up every morning before the sun because I'm ready to, I don't even like the word work anymore, but what I am ready to do is operate in my gift. I look at my schedule for the day and I see all those wonderful people who are going to come to me and I ask God, how can I bless them? What is it that I can share? And, and amazingly, it's, it's a... Um, it's reciprocated because I get so much from them because they love me and share with me. They help me with business ideas. You have to be what you want to attract. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so my, mm -hmm. my clientele is professional. They are working class um, and they are business men and women. And I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to serve in my gift. And I'm so glad to be here today, Michelle. Wow. Listen, you got me smiling because I'm so glad yeah. you look. I am so glad you're going to be there too because I like what you just said about it's not just about being pretty. You know, mm -hmm. everyone talking about, oh, I just got to get a pedicure. But the way you just described how is, you know, with our health and our yes. wealth and, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with diabetes and all these things that, you know, even I know in my family, quite a few ladies had to have special pedicures because of their diabetes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So not everybody can just go and sit in anyone's chair. So you just alone made me just really say, you know, and I'm gonna ask you these questions later about how can we increase our revenue with what you're doing? And so just hold that thought because now we're going into the health portion of it. Um, and we talk about just health, but we talk about also mental health. And we talk about mm -hmm. the stresses that ladies have and gentlemen have and just self-love. So we have two young ladies that's on here that's a specialist in that. So Miss Toya, and Ms. Sharia, y'all tell a little bit about your classes that you're going to be educating at the Impo Summit. Go ahead, Toya. You're muted. You want to go first? No, go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you for having us, Ms. Shaleen. This is amazing because last year was like our, it was our first time and it was absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. It was just an experience that I have never experienced before. But what we're working on is creating a movement to help women live a healthier lifestyle, balancing their life, eating better, and outside of that, just loving yourself, understanding what that really means. Because just like the young lady just said, it starts on the inside. And I think a lot of us, I know for me, in my mind, I'm feeling like I'm mentally stable and I'm good and I'm ready and I can take on the world. But things happen and traumas happen when you're a kid that comes back up and resurface in an adult life. And we have to learn how to understand how to deal with that. And that's what we're going to be sharing our experience because it's really our true experience that we've been dealing with ongoing. And so for us, it's just about creating that movement so that you can balance your life with family, business and self-love. Yes. Yeah. And and to just to be able to piggyback off of what Toya has said. And again, this us being a part of this, I want to say thank you again, because it was mm -hmm. phenomenal to just be around other like minded women. I love it, love it, love it. And I love being able to meet new people and I love being able to be in the room that different because it allows us to be able to open up our minds and to receive the what is so-called not the norm what is starting to become the norm you know and so i appreciate it and what i want to talk about is what it is that we have been able to come together and to be able to present to stylists and women every day that it is so much more than just the hustle and the bustle 
behind standing behind the chair you know it's more than just doing hair you know you really truly have to do a self-evaluation take the time to reflect and figure out where it is you want to be in life how do you want to see yourself moving forward in the future dealing with your business and being able to take the time to have a self-reflecting for your mental state and it's so important because we are so conditioned to just be on that grind and making that money and money, 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 money. But at the end of the day, if your health isn't where it needs to be, it does no good. And so I'm so glad how Toya and I have been able to come together to be able to present to the women that it's so much more than just making money. It's so much more than just standing behind the chair. It's so much more, even with your eating, you know, mm -hmm. we talk about a better lifestyle, like Toya is plant-based, right? And so we come together to just show, even if you're not plant-based, but to be able to have that experience, to open your eyes, to just learn it differently, because we always want to go and buy fast foods and stuff. But if you can just, maybe if you don't have the time to meal prep, Maybe if you can buy salads that's already prepped and maybe if you just bake your meats throughout the week, start somewhere, start small, make baby steps. And then as you are consistent with that, then you can progress to doing something else. But it's something about just opening up your eyes and opening up your mind to do things differently. We don't have to necessarily be conditioned to do things this one way that we've been doing it for years because it's played out like an A track. Now it's time to learn and do something new and understand that the new new is the norm of this new new now so we just need to be able to recondition our mindsets and it's just dope of how i can learn from toya she can learn from me and i've learned so much from her to open up my eyes where it's so much more than just here and i we were, we're going to be stressing that because it's so much more. You know, you got to be able to really make sure that you are in a great place in your life to be able to receive all of your blessings of what you need to be able to receive. But you can't do that when you got a bunch of foolery going on. And I'm, I, I just keep it raw and I'm just, I keep it real. So my lingo ain't always the best, but that's just Sharia. You, you gonna understand where I'm coming from. So that's all for me right now. <laughs> look that's that's a lot and this it's a lot because everyone needs to know that and i love the title that you all came up with it's more than just hair a lot of people just want to stand behind the chair and just do hair but not understand where it is to make their body right now we have a young lady that's joining us and she can contest to four years of impact so miss sharon tell a little about you and where you're going to be coming so i live in boston and <sighs> Man, I'm excited. I'm excited already. And this is why I'm excited because of the educators that's sitting here before me right now. I get so excited as, I mean, each year, like Micheline said, four years and each year I come out with something new, the education, the love, the, 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 the that they just pour into you. No one holds back anything. Like if you ask a question, they give it, they answer it for you and they give you more than what you asked for. I mean, I, I be so over, I be so overfilled that when I leave the hotel and go to the airport, I'm just sitting there in awe, like, wow, this is just like, wow. I can't believe all the information that I have. And now I have to digest it all. I go home and I have to digest it all. And it keeps me relevant. You know, I'm constantly innovation, constantly. And I'm not, you know, patting myself on the back or anything like this, but this comes from the educators that are in Columbia, South Carolina. When I come back to Boston, everybody sees it. And they ask me, where's all this coming from? I say, you gotta come to Impulse Summit. You gotta come. You, I can tell them. But until they come and experience the educators that are there, they're not going to understand it. 
but they see it from me, but you still, you got to experience for yourself. So yeah, I, I'm excited already. I can't wait. <laughs> now see, Sharon, when I met you four years ago, that was our very first year. And one of the things that I can say is that you believed. Yes. And when I first met you, that was my first time ever meeting you. And, you know, I told you, hey, I guarantee you when you come here, you're going to feel an impact. I guarantee you. And you yeah. was like, oh, OK, you know, let me see. And you came and you've been a believer to the point where you've actually told other people about it. Yeah. And as they came up to me after the, you know, the presentation, it was like, Micheline, Miss Micheline, I'm not going to ever miss another year. And they had already signed up as well. Belief is something that people don't realize that is so important, especially when you're starting off. When you're starting off, how important it is for somebody to, to trust in you. Our first year was make room. And we always say our gifts will make room for us. And just today, Miss Destiny Cox talked about her gifts and made room for her. And congratulations to the things that she's doing, which also introduced me to Miss Chastity. I'm going to tell you about relationships. Relationships are built at Impulse Summit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say yeah. that again. Relationships are mm -hmm. built at Impulse Summit. And that's something that you cannot pay for enough for. You yeah. get the elite educators that are really heartfelt. When I tell you they give, when I stepped in on Toya and Sharia's class last year, they had people standing up like cheering. And you remember I had stood up and took a picture. They was like, yeah, if they was repeating everything they said. I'm like, I don't know what just went on, but I want to be a part of it. Get over there take a picture. Yeah. We was like a family. We not, we were we are a family. We are a family to a point where we sat in other people's classes and learned something and, and you know, connected and started following each other and destiny to the point where she believed in you so much, Chastity. She said, Micheline, I, I got someone for you that I know that's going to be so impactful at Impulse Summit. How do y'all feel about relationships and how important that is? I'm going to start with you, Miss Chastity. I'm going to tell you, that is a very wonderful question because relationship is what connects you with everything that you are it's what that's why god didn't just create one of us he didn't stop with adam he created someone else so that they could be in relationship one of the things i was listening to td jakes this morning with a sermon and he said you're not building your relationships this is this is when you know you're stagnant he said because you're not growing your relationships and you're not growing like if you only know the same people that you knew 10 years ago, you are not growing. Mm. So I, I say to myself and I kind of, I was so in my feelings about this for the last several days, just nervousness because this is totally out of my comfort zone. As much as I love people, I'm like all this internet business is just not where I'm comfortable. But I said, Lord, being uncomfortable is what has to be comfortable for me now because that tells me you're growing. And the relationships with these beautiful ladies here for Miss Destiny Cox to trust so much. I remember you called me back in February. I was blown away because somebody believed in me. Somebody that I have met a few times and now I am working, uh, going to school to become an instructor through her. So I am excited that someone believes in me and that that relationship is now placing me in other wonderful places. Had it not been for the relationship, I wouldn't be here now. Miss mm. Toya, Miss Sharia, Miss Sharon, how do y'all feel about the word relationship? What does that mean? And have y'all built relationships? Someone asked me the other day, do you think that any relationships was um, connected? Did anyone connect that impulse summit? I said, maybe so. <laughs> what do y'all think about the relationship that you all built? from Impulse Summit? Um, I think that, well, not that I think, but I know that relationships are so important. Um, when you do anything dealing with business, um, dealing with networking, you have to be able to have a relationship. But in order to have a relationship, you gotta, you have to be able to come out of your comfort zone. You gotta be able to talk. You know, we as stylists, I hate when I hear people who say, um, I, well, I shouldn't say hate, but it disturbs me when I hear stylists that are afraid to talk to other stylists or to be able to talk to other strangers. We are a customer service based business. Mm -hmm. So for me, and, I, and, and I, I know that I'm rare, but I meet no strangers. 
So when I see people, I just automatically smile and I talk. I'm a hugger. I'm just an affectionate person. But that's just me, you know. And so I feel like when you don't talk, when you don't communicate, you miss out on so many opportunities. You miss out on what's the next class. What's the next thing that's going on? You just, you missed out on so much, you know? I say it all the time, but I will continue to say it. My business partner, Toya, we became business partners because I met her three years ago at a class. And I said, hey girl, we are we are friends on Facebook, what's up? And we were connected ever since then, that whole trip. When I saw her, what's up, girl? What you doing? Okay, I'm going over here. Where are you going? It was like as if I had already knew her because we were friends on Facebook, you know? So to me, it's when you automatically see your sister, because to me, when as stylists, if I see you, you my sister, so we automatically, I automatically look at you as a family member. So I'm going to acknowledge you and I'm going to treat you as such, you know? So I feel like that when you stand closed off, you miss out on so many opportunities and you need people to thrive and not just to be able to climb the ladder, but just socially and physically, we need that. You know, there is a reason why we need to be able to hug one another. There's a reason why we need to be able to communicate with other people. There's a reason for that. God didn't create us to be closed off and to be by ourselves. We need that connection. We need that communication. And so it is just, it's important to be able to have relationships with everybody. Some of you, you know, just decide, but we need it. it it's, it's important. Miss Sharon, because I know yes. we built relationships just from us talking that first time. And yes. the classes that you have been taking, you've built relationships with them as well, because I know some people say, oh, Sharon, I work with Sharon with this. And, you know, I call Sharon for this. And, you know, Sharon have called me for things. Tell yes. about your relationship that you have built personally from a um, attendee, because I know we are educators and we're on one side, but you are educated as well, because you are now like an influencer uh, to Impulse Summit. So tell about your relationship with that. Um. I, my relationship has been built on a lot of uh, like meeting people there for the first time. And, you know, uh, I can't think of her name, but she's in, into the health. Uh, I can't think of her Iwana. name. Iwana. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I talked to her so many times and it was building a relationship with us. And every time I see her, you know, I just start smiling because speaking with her and the things that she was telling me and teaching me. It, it, it is just like I said, money can't pay for the relationship that has been built between me and not just Iana, but a few other people. And, you know, even like with you, Micheline, you probably don't even know this, but I've been watching you since Bronner Brothers. <laughs> and, um, there, you, money can't pay for these relationships that I'm building. It just no. can't. No, I'm going to tell you, as we're talking about relationships, we have something called influencers. And these ladies and gentlemen have been diligently spreading the word about Impulse Summit, telling people, hey, this is where you need to be in September. This is a part of, you know, put this on your calendar as things to do. And we're going to tell you, just start off with Friday. Every So these individuals are someone who's very strong with Impulse Summit, with making sure that they get the word out. Now, Sharon, and I'm going to start with you. Tell about some of the classes that you've taken and start with Saturday, where you started with. So Saturday, um, that was the pool party. And then, oh, the pool party was awesome. Just awesome. I had such a good time. Always have a good time. Uh, then Sunday morning worship. I tell you what, I will not miss another Sunday morning worship service. Will not miss one. I don't care what time I have to get up. Um, and then there was the, uh, what was the class after the worship was? Uh, 
the PPB, which is the Power Post Breakfast for Champions. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> the information is amazing. I, I'm telling you, I learned so much by sitting there and listening and asking questions. Like I said, money really can't pay for all that education at BD. It really cannot. It cannot. Because when you come out of it, I'm so full, like I said. And then we go into our classes. Man, there be so many classes. I be, I be trying to get them all. I be trying to get them all. But, you know, sometimes you just can't get them all because, for example, the waxing class. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you. Destiny Cox, yes. That Destiny gave us. Um, and she was just giving it to us. And I know that. And I take a lot of classes. So I know that costs a lot of money. But she was really giving it to us. And she wasn't holding nothing back. Mm -hmm. In the color classes. And, and like, I missed out on the man weed, but I won't miss out this year. Believe me on that. I'm not going to miss out on that. one. There's just so many classes that, you know, I can't even name them all because, you know, we don't have enough time. But I, I, I'm telling you, I just can't say it enough. Money can't pay for it. They really right. can't. And let me tell you, money can't pay for the relationship that I built with all of you ladies on this phone. And like you said, one of the things Chastity said, you know, Mitch, I had just talked to you right after you had your grandson. Uh, and so I'm like, I got a special guest with me tonight. My grandson again, so it's a family reunion. <laughs> Spare me, you know, like his mom said he go, he used to be sleep uh not tonight, right? He wants to breathe with his grandmother tonight. So <laughs> now as we're talking about Saturday, we have the pool party, and then we go on a Sunday morning worship, but then we go into that Sunday evening event. Okay. Tell a little bit now. Saturday, we're doing instead of a pool party, we're going into our all white event that's gonna be on Saturday, Sunday evening. That cream and green. And y'all look amazing at that cream. Tell, just tell them a little bit about Because, see, Chastity, she looked like she going to bring it. But tell them a little bit about it, Toya, because y'all had such a good time. We actually caught y'all on video a couple of times at the cream and green. <laughs> at the cream and green. <laughs> it, was, it was just, I mean, the words, you can't really describe it. It was, everybody looked so amazing. Mm -hmm. Everybody was hugging everybody, complimenting everybody. We was dancing and talking. It was just an experience. You, you would really have to be there to experience the full, the fullness of what was going on in the room, because it was not like nothing I have ever attended. Because I was at first, I was like, oh, I don't want to get all dressed up, but we had so much fun. And Sharia always she she the first one on the dance floor, <laughs> first one on the dance floor. But it was amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't even explain. I, I mean, I really can't. It's, I'm lost for words because that's just how much fun that I had. It was so enjoying and just so fulfilling and just hugging people, people that see you on social media and be like, oh, my God, we friends on social media. And it's back to that relationship, building those relationships. Mm -hmm. You can't pay money, can't pay for relationships. Just period, point blank. Talking about their complete weekend. And all the things we're going to be doing now, if they want a seat at the table, we are actually doing something very special. And we're starting this for the month of May going into June. They can have a seat at the table for $3.99. Now, that's something that we don't do normally, but we also have our VIP. So that's the early bird promo that we're going to be doing for you. So you definitely can come in and have a seat at the table. And then after that, we're going to be having our VIP. Now, we're also going to be joining something like our social media. I'm going to tell you the classes that we're going to be offering, business, cutting, color, trichology, natural hair, nails, mm -hmm. and pedicures, you know, learn about those six figures of making it in there. So Chastity, just tell just a little bit about how can they expand their revenue off doing pedicures? Um, one of the ways to expand your revenue is increase your education. Um, that's the first thing because you have to set yourself apart. You have to do it differently. That has to be an inner passion that you have, not only just for the revenue, but because it's beneficial to the people that need to be serviced. Um, one of the things that I have found that has grown my business tremendously, number one is the education. Um, and also, um, I find a lot of clients who have either trauma um, to their toes, you know, people with who've had ingrown toenails, who've had toenail removal or partial removal, that type of yeah. thing. And women want pretty feet. We know that we want the pretty, but we have to be able to do it in a healthy way. And mm -hmm. the information that I'm coming in contact with and the, the learning 
and the education that I'm receiving helps me deliver a phenomenal outcome for my clients. Um, and they leave with health in their feet. They leave with being able to go to the beach for the first time and experience some of these places that God has created. It's people who won't go certain places because their feet aren't in order. Mm -hmm. So restorative pedicuring is what my specialty is. And that is um, taking a compound that is the, the most recent one, even for this week that I have learned about and will be using. And I told my other manicures, everything's changing. And so it has nano silver technology in it where it helps to fight against that fungal infection. A lot of my clients, I already have them going to the podiatrist. So we're able to build those toenails out and help them recover and give them a much more uh, pleasing appearance to the toenails than what they had before. You know, we're doing a lot of cosmetic things, but it's important to do those cosmetic things in a very healthy way. We're doing hair applications. You know, we're talking about the, I don't know what to call it. My son's just got a haircut and my barber said, hey, I do that. You know, the prosthesis for the hair. These mm -hmm. for me are really like prosthesis for the nails. And I have people that will drive five, six hours to come and see me. And I thank God for that because, you know, in the very beginning, you wonder, how is this different? God gave me this. I was a school social worker before this. So this totally was not on my radar. And when I tell you he has given me a gift of passion, of concern, of care, of love for my people. I was a school social worker before and my environment, my atmosphere is very therapeutic. Um, like I said, you leave with beautiful toes, but that's just icing on the cake because really, hopefully your heart has been inspired. But rejuvenating people, restoring people is what the object is and to give them tips and tools on how to care for their feet, because a lot of us run into a lot of issues and feet are something we can hide. And I want people to not have to hide anymore. Yeah. So Toya, you all are coming in and segue and just like with the health, tell a little bit of, about the expectations that they're going to be receiving from y'all because just Chastity's voice alone is calming my grandson. I guess it's just a calming thing right now, <laughs> but you know, just listening to y'all about the health and everything uh, that you're going to be bringing, that it's not just about hair, you know, the expectations of what you want them to bring to you for your class. What expectations? Well, what, what I believe we're going to be sharing with everyone, because this is for me, it's my lifestyle. I feel like the way I talk to my clients in the salon, I talk to them about they're moving their body, they're re them resting, um, reading positive affirmations, reading the Bible, um, listening to positive videos, how they eat, how they think. I have to be that example. So when I was telling all of my clients, y'all need to do this, this and that, I said, well, you know, I have to be the example of that. So I started really implementing everything into my life because I realized I can make all the money in the world behind that chair. But if I'm not happy on the inside, I'm not doing nobody no, no good. I'm not serving anybody what they really need. And that's really a true experience from behind the chair. And it's not about how they look on the outside. So for me, it's really about honing in on loving who you are at the moment you are right now, because every day you have to evolve and you have to learn something different to take you to the space where you have that peace, where you have that joy, where you have that happiness, where you walk in that room and people can feel your energy before you open your mouth. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm, I'm really big on that, especially now, because I've been through so many different things and I've had so many illnesses that I could have lost my life. So, I'm, that's why I'm so big on how I eat, how I move. And don't get me wrong. I have my treats sometimes. My birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to have a treat tomorrow. <laughs> so it's just, it's just really wanting to do something different, getting out of that comfort zone and really wanting to change your life so that you can feel the difference from when you was 20 to when you're, I'm, I'm going to say 50 because I'm about to be 51. When you're 51, you really want to feel and see the difference on how you were when you were younger to now. And that's just the reality. I feel like we have to think about reality and not just 
some random stuff. I, I can't think of the right word, but we have to believe in a reality of things and we have to have belief. And our faith has to be strong enough to know that we can go through any and everything. And that's what I want to say. So when I came last year, I was struggling with my faith and my spirituality mm -hmm. and just being there in the presence, you can feel God all in that room, all in every it. morning. Yeah. It just took my level to a different space. And so every day now, like I have one client back home. I reached out to her about three weeks ago and she said, what's going on with you? I said, I just, I've been feeling a little down. There's been a lot of devs. My hat, my blood pressure was high. I was just going through all type of stuff. So mm -hmm. she sent me and I lost friendships, relationships and don't even know why. Mm -hmm. And she sent me Hezekiah Walker. God favors me. I was listening to that song every day and I cried every day. I yeah. told her this morning, I said, for this whole week, I'm able to sing that song without crying. That's it. Mm -hmm. that's and so it. she sent me a new song. I haven't looked at it yet. But that's where I'm at. I, I want people to really be able to tap within on the inside, whether you kick, cry, scream, holler. You have to go through all those emotions. Mm -hmm to become a better version of yourself. Yeah. And let me tell you, Rhonda just put up there, the first year we made room, the second year we revealed and a lot of things was revealed in our lives. Last year we stretched and this year God is saying breathe. And more and more he is revealing to me what that means, you know, that that breathtaking, the out with the old, in with the new. And just listening to a song that I heard several times that I'm like, I did not realize that that song said breathe in it, you know, mm -hmm. so, and it's rained down on me, you know? And so when you think about it, God is raining down on impulse summit. And I always tell people, if you don't want to hear about God, you don't mm -hmm. want to be there. Mm -hmm. You might want to stay home because he is in the building. He is, he's meeting us there. Matter of fact, he's beating us there because we start praying every morning at 645. We pray over every attendee. We pray over everyone who has their hands upon it. We pray for every elite educator, anybody who's involved with it up until that time. And even after we're constantly praying. And so and I like that standing on his promises is definitely what we're doing. We are definitely standing on every promise that God said he's going to give us. And we thank you, ladies, um, because, again, without you, there is no us. We thank y'all that, you know, y'all believe in us and that y'all breathing with us this year. And for those who definitely want to breathe with us, just join us in Columbia, the September the 10th through the 12th. Join us at the Double Tree. I'm talking about we got the Double Tree cookies. We feed you at the all white. <laughs> we feed you at the cream and green. Food is what, and we feed you what. No matter whether you vegan or not, right, Joy? Yes. <laughs> Are you like y'all gonna have vegan options? I said, <laughs> East 360 got it all. Okay, so it's even bigger and better this year. We have some presentations that's going to be at the all white event by some of our groomers, uh, led by Miss Jada. So Jada was an attendee just last year three days before Impulse Summit, and now she's an influencer. So I'm telling you, God is in, he's moving. And again, there's no distractions. And we always say no excuses for you not to be there. And it's no excuses for everyone not to know what amazing things have been said on the screen just tonight. Cause I'm sitting here like, wow, just thinking about my, I was just getting a pedicure today thinking about, no, mm -hmm. I know she is, she's amazing, but I will fly. <laughs> and get my pedicure done at least once a month. You know what I'm saying? There with you because of how you are selling this on yeah. us and telling us this, you know what I'm saying? And, and the belief of it and just the health portion of, of everything and just sharing, believing in us and sharing with other people say, hey, if I was you, I would get our ticket and come on down to Impulse Summit. Mm -hmm. So this is just a little video. I know we've seen it, but maybe y'all didn't see it. Maybe y'all look out for yourselves because some of y'all on here really... Uh, Getting it in. <laughs> Sharia. Well.
definitely you can sign up to be that. We want to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts, from the bottom of our hearts, up to the top where we are actually breathing even more, that you are going to make an impact in Columbia, South Carolina, September the 10th to the 12th. Make sure if you're on this live, tag and share at least with three people tag and share with three people about impulse summit so that they can see what type of education that we're going to be bringing in columbia south carolina in september i look forward to seeing you all next thursday and i look forward to seeing y'all in september yeah. make sure you continue to impact the minds of millions one at a time. <laughs>